Jamie, talk about this project and why you accepted it and talk about a little bit about your character. So, I mean, you know, I think when they first came to me and they said they're doing another Robin Hood, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it was that long since the last <laughs> Robin Hood, you know. I think Otto Bathurst, our director, would say the same thing. It's like, you know, why tell a story that people know so well unless you turn it on its head and, and, and offer people a very different version to what they're mm -hmm. used to? And that idea excited me, you know. Um, I, I, when I first met Otto, he showed me like a little uh, sort of mock-up um, uh, bow and arrow fight uh, with that uh, looked like it as happening as fast as gunfire in this sort of derelict building. And I just thought that aesthetic of it was very, very cool, you know. And 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 Will, you know, seemed like a great sort of counterpart to to Robin and the love triangle between uh, Marion and Will and, and and Robin was sort of very enticing. And and where we see Will at the start of the movie to where we see him at the end was kind of amazing. I'd never like he. I think. For for me, I think has the best arc in the in in, in, in the movie, and you know it's set up. Very, I find it very long <laughs> <laughs> hair on my um, uh, that I, that really excited me. Also, with the idea that if we, you know, make more of these, then obviously without giving too much away, it's very different from my character at the end, which is which is cool. I know that. The arc of your character turning dark. Yeah. How exciting was that for you? Yeah, no, it's great, you know, because I think inherently, I think Will is a good person. I think he's trying to do good, you know, I think he is trying to, uh, you know, achieve things for the betterment of his people and be the voice of the people. And then, you know, like often happens in politics, people like that, they then get, it all becomes about their own ego <laughs> and their own sort of ambition to to be, you know, get to a position of power. And I think that's classically kind of what happens with him. And then, you know, then to see the turn that he has, and, you know, that's obviously fueled by things that happen in the story that, you know, can't really say about probably. But the difference from where he is morally and physically from when we first see him at the start of the movie to the end of the movie is incredible. So um, that was very exciting to, to play. Is this your first time to act with Eve too? Yes, yeah, 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 I, and I love her, and I, 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 I met her before we started filming, uh -huh. once we knew we were both doing it, um, but then it turns out we have a lot of, sort of friends in common, cause, I mean, we're both from Ireland, so it's not a very big place, so um, we, uh, when I knew I was doing it with her, I said to a few people, and so many people that I knew knew her anyway. So mm -hmm. I felt like she sort of felt like an old friend when when we met. So it's not cool because she's not here because she's filming in in New Zealand. Mm. So she's not able to be here. So we met her so. dad, Bono. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I went with uh, Eve to uh, a U two concert last summer. Oh. She's a good person to go see U two with. <laughs> She gets you into all the right places. Okay. It was, it the was best very seats. Good. Best seats. <laughs> Definitely the best seats. Yeah. And did you train on anything physically? Bow and arrow, riding horses? Yeah, I did, this movie? I did a bit of that. Yeah, it's funny. I didn't get to do bow and arrow. It was really sad. I'd be like <laughs> sitting with Taryn and then he'd be taken off to do bow and arrow and I'd be like, oh. I didn't even get to do it. Uh, but I, um, you know, did a lot of horse stuff and then ended up not really being on a horse in the movie. <laughs> but um, I was out in Budapest and went out to this place and uh, I rode around with a horse and cart and stuff. But then, yeah, I, I was out there one day going, I'm pretty sure I don't ride a horse in the movie. I don't know why I'm out here. <laughs> um, I'm really allergic to horses as well. So I was, <laughs> I was like so medicated up on this <laughs> stuff. Oh. To, and then it was sort of pointless because I'm How really, are you allergic to the smell? Yeah, or I, no, I don't know what it is, something about their... Um, they're like saliva and their ah, their their hair. Interesting. Yeah, and cats mm -hmm. and dogs. I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> Are you ready for the sequel? Listen, if we got an opportunity to do that, yeah, it'd be incredible. Obviously, where my character goes is, is, mm -hmm. is, is it'll be a very different prospect if if you know we get to make a sequel. Um, but I think everyone would love to do that. You know, we had a lot of fun doing this, and um, there's such a great bunch of actors and and, and people, and um, so it'd be I'd love to do it if we. Mm -hmm. Get the opportunity, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, and we'll see you.